welcome back to my channel infotainment and to the playlist of digital signal processing in this video i will be showing you how to calculate the dft of the spectrum 6 minus 1 minus j 0 and minus 1 plus j now before we apply the idft formula let us see how to how to uh, convert the given spectrum into a form of an equation so this I can write it as x of k is equal to 6 into del of k plus minus 1 minus j into del of k minus 1 plus 0 so I just neglect it minus 1 plus j into del of k minus 3 so this is how you convert the given spectrum into the equation once you have obtained the equation now we can start applying the idft to each of the expressions or each of the terms so once i uh, once i apply idft once i apply idft i am doing the idft Once I apply a DFT, x of k becomes x of n. Del of k, when I take the IDFT of it, it becomes 1 divided by n. Here, as you can see, there are 4 terms. So, that means the capital N value is 4. So, therefore, 6 divided by 4 plus minus 1 minus j into del of k minus 1 if you take the dft then it would be 1 over 4 into e raised to the power j 2 pi since the shifting is observed in the frequency domain here i have minus sign so therefore here plus in case the shifting was in the time domain, then the same sign will be retained. That is, if, if at all this uh, is observed, this shift, like the shifting is observed in the uh, time domain, then the same sign is retained. But here, since the uh, shifting is observed in the frequency domain, here minus is there, here I am considering it as plus. J2 pi, K0 is 1, so I write 1 over here. I have I am doing this or this expression is in the time domain so therefore I have small n over here so I write small n divided by capital N that is 4 fine plus on the same lines minus 1 plus j into e raised to the power j 2 pi here I have minus so here I it becomes plus here I have 3 so I write 3 and I have n over here so therefore I write n divided by capital N that is 4 whole divided by 4 now the process looks very simple but there are chances of doing the mistake so in order to make the process easy there are four important questions which we have to consider here while writing this part one is the first question always is what domain it is it is time domain so therefore i know this is small n then the second point is which what is the value of k naught k naught is one or k naught is three over here so i have written one and i have written three fine then the shifting is in which domain time domain or frequency domain we have to look since i have uh, shifting in the frequency domain i have uh, inverted the sign that is i have taken the opposite sign if it is in the time domain same sign should be taken and the fourth question is what is the value of capital n if these four questions are dealt properly then idft can be solved or idft can be obtained easily okay now now the, this is the expression we have obtained so now we have to obtain the value of the signal for n is equal to 0, 1, 2 
and 3 because the capital N is 4 and small n ranges from 0 to capital N minus 1. Okay, so therefore for 0, 1, 2, 3. I just have to substitute the n values to be 0, 1, 2 and 3 in the places of n. Let us see how to do it. <coughs> here I just simplify it. 2 1s are 2 2s are and here is again 2 1s are 2 2s are. Okay, so now if I write it in a simplified manner it would be x of n which is equal to 6 by 4 is 3 by 2 plus minus 1 minus j into e raised to the power j pi by 2 n can be written as j raised to the power n. So how do I write this? It is very simple because e raised to the power j pi by 2 n can be written as cos pi by 2 plus j sin pi by 2. Cos pi by 2 is 0. So j sin pi by 2 sin pi by 2 is 1. So I just get j raised to the power n whole divided by 4 plus minus 1 plus j into here e raised to the power j pi j 3 pi by 2 into n therefore it becomes we know that sin 3 pi by 2 is minus 1 hence it will be minus j raised to the power n now you can substitute the values of n that is 0 1 2 3 and obtain the values of the signal so uh, when you put when you put when you substitute 0 it would be 1.5 over here 1.5 over here then this term would be unity that term also would be unity minus 1 by 4 minus 1 by 4 is minus 1 by 2 minus minus 1 by 2 plus 1 point plus uh, 1.5 is 1 then minus j by 4 plus j by 4 gets cancelled so therefore it is 1 fine now similarly you can substitute 1 and 1 in the place of n you will be getting the values now when you place n now when you substitute 2 in the place of <coughs> now when you substitute 1 in the place of n then you would be getting 2 over here okay similarly when you substitute 2 here it would be j square j square is minus 1 minus j raised to the power 2 is again uh, minus 2 minus plus j square is minus 1 so therefore you have uh, 1.5 over here 1 by 4 1, 1 by 4 and 1 by 4 you would be again getting 2 okay and uh, similarly uh, when you saw when you substitute 3 over here j j cube is minus j and minus j ra minus j raised to the power 3 uh, minus j minus j raised to the power 3 would be plus j so therefore uh, so, so therefore when you simplify it you would be getting 1 so this is how you find the IDFT of the spectrum 6 minus 1 minus j 0 and minus 1 plus j thank you very much for watching the video hope you have liked it and found it informative as well please share your channel with a friend so that they would also learn please subscribe to my channel if you haven't subscribed yet do press the like button if you have liked the video and share your comments in the comment section below thank you